Hi, my name is Danielle and I work with the City of Albany in the Recreation Department. Today I'm going to show you how to make Play-Doh. Um, you're just going to need some ingredients. We're going to need some hot water, some vegetable oil, salt, cream and tartar, um, some food coloring, and some flour. So let's get started. You're going to start by getting your salt ready. You're going to need half a cup. So get your measuring cup. Get your salt, you can use table salt from home, whatever you have, and measure out a half a cup. Go ahead and take that and put that in your bowl. Next, we're gonna do some vegetable oil. Um, go ahead and take what your tablespoon measuring and measure out one tablespoon and pour that in. Um, next, we're gonna add the cream of tartar. This actually is a binding agent, which helps mix all of this and bind it together. So go ahead and get a tablespoon out and put that in. Next, we're gonna get our hot water. You're gonna need one cup. This helps mix the salt and the cream of tartar and the oil together. Let's go ahead and measure out a cup and add that in. You can use a spoon, you can use your tablespoon, you can use a whisk to kind of mix these ingredients together. Um, next, you're gonna add some color. If you have some food coloring, choose what you'd like. You can also mix colors together. Um, today, I'm gonna use blue. Mix that in. And then once these ingredients have mixed together, you're going to add your flour. So we will start with one cup of flour. Add that to your bowl and continue to mix. Watch as these ingredients all change as you're mixing it together. That liquid is slowly getting harder into more of a substance. So as you can see, it is still pretty liquidy. So I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more flour. I'm going to take a fourth a cup to start. And add that in. And now I'm going to start using my hands. You're wanting to knead the dough. As you can see, it's starting to come together. I'm gonna add one more fourth a cup. Oh, and now it's really coming together. And the warm water, it makes it nice and soft. Okay, so take your Play-Doh out of your bowl and you can really start working with it on your tabletop. And there you are. You have your very own homemade Play-Doh. Have a great day.